Good day, everybody. Welcome back. Um, if you watched the previous video, you would see what I did with this piece. And I've already started to pull this bubble wrap off uh, just on the side here. Oh my god, so much texture. Actually, it's coming off real easy. I'm pulling on it hard, but it's not stuck or anything. You have to dig it out, sort of thing. Oh my gosh. Right. Oh, sugar. That's really rough. Oh boy. Look at that. Can you see that? That is resin. And it covered the whole thing except for this little bit here and just here a little bit and I can feel it's a little bit oily but that's okay <laughs> oh my gosh what do I do next jeez let me just think on this let me <laughs> let me think about it guys oh my god there's holes everywhere I have a holy piece here oh my god okay I'll be back Okay, first thing I'm going to do is, I'm just going to use some uh, spray adhesive. Uh, sorry, it's not, uh, it's a clear gloss spray. And I just want to spray this thing. Hold on a second, let me just grab something like that. And just cover. Righto, that's that. Just gonna let that sit now. I just wanted to cover the <coughs> wear a respirator, guys. I'll do it outside. I'm being stupid and I'm doing it right in here because I'm so impatient. But I am covering these areas here which have uh, those oily kind of bits there. So we'll let that dry and then I'll be back. Alright guys, so I'm back. Ooh. Sorry about that. I didn't realise my brush was really dusty. So strange. Anyway, um, what I did was I um, had to spray paint the whole surface because the, the pattern underneath there was just confusing me and the ideas that I've had. So um, I just spray painted it black and you can see you know it's not fully covered in black it's got some bits still showing from underneath but you can really see the texture there so I might even have to go around with the sander this resin is so sharp some of the areas like I can't run my fingers across there because it's just so sharp it'll cut me some of the areas are really raised I'm just going around and coloring in those areas just so that I can really see them and it'll give me an idea of what I want to do so there's a raised bit there. Just with a, this is just gesso. Uh, it's just, uh, just for me to, to get a, a bit of a look and see where these bits here are raised. That's all I'm doing. And then I'm gonna go around with my heat gun and just dry it up. So all these bits are kind of raised and you can probably already start to get some ideas because you are viewing it from above so you'll get a better picture of it all um, but I couldn't see this see that part there oh it's actually quite soft I can pull it out okay that's cool but some of these are so sharp be careful if you try this at home don't um, don't cut yourself it's not fun that's for sure so that's all I'm doing just gonna go around and, and do that and, and to be honest I had so many ideas um, and not and still pretty confused as to what I'm gonna do like I could do a little beehive scene here where I got the little bees um, flying around the hive you know uh, make it real nice and interesting I could do an underwater scene which is probably the way I'm gonna go because I'm so inspired by where I live now I'm so close to the beach and I went there yesterday to have lunch and it was just so cool just something that I'm not used to doing and 
I definitely don't take it for granted, that's for sure. It's, uh, it's a, a real privilege to be so close to, to the ocean. The energy is just amazing. Okay, so here we go. That's all the really raised bits. Uh, I'm just going to give this a bit more color. Oh, there's one here that I missed. So I'm going to turn this into something. So do let me know in the, in the comments below what which way you would have gone because at, at this stage I have no clue. Uh, but I'm going to stand up and, and give it a real good look and, and see what, uh, what I can come up with here. But I think I'm going to go with the underwater scene and just... Uh, do some fishies as my grandson says fishies so I might just do that I might actually give him this painting so I hope it turns out pretty cool okay so scanning around there's one bit there that's sticking out and I need to outline those because once I start pouring resin or whichever way I go I don't want to see those bits up there that haven't been kind of covered so alrighty so you can see that I could even do like a, a space scene here um, I, you know you can do a moon and a couple of planets there's so many things you can do I'm just amazed at how cool this is very very cool okay let me think okay so I started drawing some, I have rather painting some fish. I'm still using the gesso um, just because, you know, I can and it's available just there. So just a very simple little fish down there and I might even do a small one over here. It's, uh, just to see what it will look like. Make it a bit fatter. So that'll be covered and I could even make them textured. I could even make it like a, a fossilized kind of scene where everything kind of froze in time um, and you get that with texture. There's so many combinations. But these parts here just remind me of something like uh, futuristic, I don't know, metal maybe? Um, I don't know, I'm just, my, my brain is wrecked. I mean, definitely in overload. I don't know what to do. So maybe fish would be wrong here, but I'm going to continue with the fish because, you know, I like fish. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're going to put another little one here. Just a tiny little one. There's a tail. Just to give you kind of a bit of an indication. This brush has really seen better days. Um, they're all kind of going in there trying to pick things out of these little holes Okay, so that could be like even parts of a, of a boat or something like that underwater. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go with that and I think the fumes from the This uh, enamel spray paint is really getting to me So I think I'm gonna have to like move away for a little bit and just uh, assess this a little bit later so yeah, yeah have a good laugh at me. That's all good. No worries. Okay. I've got an idea now, which is pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to draw like a little boat. It's going to be in the, in the background here. And that's the top of the boat. And that here is going to be like a bottom of it. Oh, sugar. I forgot that's really sharp. Ha <laughs> ha. And I'm going to have stuff here anyway, so you won't be able to see that. <coughs> Excuse me. I had to wipe some of that white because I went a little bit too low. And I have to stand up now. Gosh. So that I can see properly what I'm doing. So that's going to be a boat. That's going to be the bottom of it. And that's going to be like the top. It's got to go down here a little bit like that. And then we're going to have the thing which holds the sails and all that sort of stuff coming up here, like that. And then there'll be a few ones 
come around so that's all going to be like a, a blurry kind of vision and that's why we've got all those little um, you know bubbles kind of there and these are just parts that kind of fell off it now I might even shape them into something you never know or they could just be coral or stuff that's floating around in the water we'll see Choking. Okay, so that's just an outline. It's going to be a little bit visible, but not too much back there. That's why I'm not putting so much detail in there. Uh, <clears throat> just going to have to research and see what I could possibly turn these into. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to add some more fish, probably um, just outlining at the moment. There's that one fish there, another fish over here. They're all going to be coloured in with resin or acrylic, something, or texture, you know. Um, so I might do another fish over here, uh, like a bigger one maybe. Maybe one coming here like so. What's a fish? It's an underwater scene and they're all gathering around. They probably have some coral and things like that down here, which started to kind of grow around that boat that's been in there for, for so long might even get an octopus or something like that in there some jellyfish should be fun okay so I think I will turn these into texture so I will use some texture paste to do them but for now I just start uh, creating a little bit of a scene here maybe one kind of facing upwards like this the tail there okay so there's a few there now and I will probably add some more maybe another one over here just uh, kind of doing its own thing and down here it's going to be coral and rocks and all kinds of things Okay, so there's the outline and now we're going to start with some other stuff. Okay, here's a palette knife, just using some texture paste, which is almost hardened on me because I've had it for so long. So, I'm trying to cover up these little fishies, as my grandson Riker would say, God love him. And so after I do this, I'm just going to have to leave it alone and let it dry and set. Actually, I probably shouldn't do it so thick because it's going to take forever. And I need something smaller to work with. So let me just see. Maybe I can just scrape it off. Look at that. Beautiful. I can actually scrape it off with my uh, palette knife. Just trying to create a bit of texture just to cover that uh, those bubbles see that's all I'm doing it's a little bit tricky well, I find it a bit tricky um, just put them over there and then just scrape them off maybe you can come up with a better idea of how to apply this this stage this is what I'm doing and I think I will use my palette knife instead to fix it up and scrape some of that stuff off just like that and then apply some more here this is going to be a little bit 
time consuming. So I'm going to go around and do all the fish. Um, and then I'll be back just so you don't have to watch this painful process of me trying to do this. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm still continuing with that. I found a, a, a nice, neat trick that, that I can smooth these um, the, the bumps out a little bit just by dipping my finger in a bit of water. Now, that's a dirty water from um, some, uh, you know, rinsing out some acrylic paints in there. But it doesn't matter because they're all going to be coloured anyway. Um, and I also found some kind of sad looking fish. From that I've saved from a mold and I haven't you know I lost the tail and the, the fins and all that but I can fix them out and I can add them in as a um, little bit extra texture and just uh, color them in just give them a little bit of gold or, or some kind of a little shiny thing that you, you get from fish in the water so um, okay I'm just going to continue with uh, doing the rest of these and I'll be back Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, another way that I found I can apply this is just by using a brush. Now this brush, like I said before, has seen better days uh, and it's not very happy, but it's making me happy at the moment because see, I can kind of uh, do a better job with this fish now. And like I said, the water's dirty, it doesn't really matter. So, and also I can go around the edges and just uh, clean up some of the areas where I don't want this paste to be. Now, it all looks a bit messy at the moment, but don't worry, I am working on getting it all done nicely. And also, um, what also doesn't matter is that... Uh, even the color or the shape because I will be covering it all with with paint as well as um, probably acrylic sorry uh, resin well most definitely be covering with resin so and this also brush can make really nice patterns as well so when it dries up it looks like um, some scales going on there you know Okay, so that's that's that. Just showing you every everything that I do, so you don't get confused as to how I managed to get that on there. Okay, guys, um, just um, keep going with it. And I've been finding some really cool, interesting skins which I can use. So I can use both sides, but this one is smoother. This was actually the top, and this is the bottom of the skin. So I can just uh, like put an eye there and just add some uh, tail and some fins. So that'll look nice because I will put this, make this really colorful. And also, oh, I better move this just for a second. It's like I've got a box of things and I've got a few boxes of different things. So there's lots of little skins that I'm going to be using in here. All of these are really cool. See, because I know what pigments these were, I can use the same pigment in resin and continue. Just do another another fish, so you can even go that way, or whichever way you're facing. Are you facing that way? Um, and just add a tail, some fins, another little one, like a little goldfish, same here. And I've got um, these skins as well. There's lots of different ones. I've got all of these were my testers. So I can even pop that and make it really texture like maybe I can find a flatter one like that maybe and then that's a nice pretty oh my god there's so many cool things here and just do like a uh, a jellyfish or maybe I can find a blue one because you know we've got the blue jellyfish in Australia it's pretty very 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 dangerous um, box jellyfish rather and I've got all of these little Drips, which I can just scatter. See, some of them will actually fit inside those little holes that I have, and just scatter them at the bottom. T 
to create some, you know, co colorful little um, creatures and corals, and they're all different. And I've got more. I've got lots of them. Where's my little bag that I've I lost it now? I'm supposed to be more organized in here, but anyway. Um, okay, so just showing you that again. Just little. I'm getting ideas as I go. So that's that's just what I'm I'm uh, I'm doing here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna um, leave this. We're just gonna paint over it with some acrylic paint and just leave it alone and let it dry properly. I went over with my um, heat gun to speed up the drying process a little bit. Um, and I might have to do it again, but that's all right. It, it can crackle, which is fine. I don't mind it at all. This is that kind of uh, painting. And I'm just going to roughly brush some of this blue. And this is just an acrylic paint. I've also got some turquoise, which I'm just going to... Oh, geez, that's hardened a bit. I haven't been using yonks. So I'm just going to get that bit out. All right, are you coming out or what? There's old paint. Okay, got some out. That's a really thick paint anyways. But uh, yeah, it just uh, solidified a little bit on me, which is fine, it's gonna be okay. So I'm just going around and helping out, helping myself out a little bit later on. Um, and that little uh, kind of uh, thing that was sitting on top there I've just popped it on here because it's gonna add to the really nice god that's a gorgeous color now I've got from these two a little bit of that a little bit of that and just go and just painting around really that will be covered I'm just helping myself a little bit and just giving myself uh, a bit of a guide as to what and how I'm going to do things. Um, so that's why I'm just adding a little bit of blue, a bit of turquoise and just painting around here. Just till that's where that boat's going to be. So that's going to be uh, a darker colour. Very, very rough, very, very rough guide. That's all that I am doing. Just going around everywhere and um, we'll add more colors there to lift the whole thing up. But the background should be kind of like blurry looking through the water. Well, that's the idea anyway. So we'll see if it uh, turns out that way or not. Either way, we're going to create something cool. But I do want to dull that down. It's a bit too dark now. So I'm just going around with my dirty water. And just going around and uh, going over that. And I'm going to let it dry nicely. Yeah, see, that's more like what I want. I will add some green to it because it needs that deep ocean green. Which is the pigment that I will be using. Uh, when I start pouring the resin so all of this is going to add some dimension and that's what it's all about it's going to be quite a dimensional piece going around doing all of that so anyway I'll be back um, probably I will end this video here because it's been going on for quite some time um, and be back tomorrow to to add detail and uh, whatever else I'm going to be adding to it all of those cute little skins and things like that so I hope you enjoyed it so far and I hope it wasn't too you know annoying because it's taking so long to do it so I'm going to try and speed it up a little bit for you um, but uh, stay tuned and I'll see you again very very soon bye for now Uh, I'm back again just showing you here real quickly uh, that because I didn't have any green acrylic uh, it's probably still packed away somewhere I'm just mixing a bit of blue with this uh, kind of a light grass green 
and to get a really nice shade here there we go get like a, a teal color and I will leave some of that blue there and then just popping that on as well okay that's it I'll go now I promise okay so it's almost done for today I now I'm back again I just lost that boat a little bit and just want to add just a tiny just like a line there just using a really thin white just to outline the part where the boat kind of there, there'll be a little bit of um, light coming down from actually that looks like the lights coming down from here so we might even do that to create a bit of a light source up here um, because everything is still pretty wet you get that kind of mingling of the colors which is pretty cool I think bit of white light coming down past there down here a little bit just giving me a bit of a guide that's all so we'll make sure that the fish get some of that light as well and I can always add more after don't have to kind of down okay so here we go this big blob here now move that around and outline the boat that's where it's going like that now you can see that there's a boat there and then some of the sails on up like that you can see that on that side this way you can see this one over here like that bit of light hitting it and through there whatever that ends up being and the other one you kind of lose it but I might just add another one just over here just to give it something extra because it's pretty wet you can really see it another fish down there right so you can see that now that's kind of outlining that a little bit so she's going down deeper like that okay that's it for real